I wanted to talk a little bit more about the, the use of the hammer and how uh, the hammer relates to this idea of the release point or the hit. And um, a lot of the trouble with the hammer I'm finding is um, the words we use. And uh, I do think there's a feel-based component that uh, you can communicate, but it's easier to understand what that is if you're watching someone do it, I think. So here's my, my attempt to, to share that with you. So the recall that really I think the, the main advantage of swinging a hammer or something heavy in general is uh, it makes it much easier for your body to rock back and forth with respect to the weight of the object. So I'm right now rocking gently back and forth in two feet. I'm not really worried about the arm. I'm just kind of letting it swing around like a dingle arm as we talk about. Um, I can move that over to one leg and bob. So, so you get the pendulum idea, but um, that really is a prerequisite for the effective arm action. So if, you, if you're not used to it, you, you should be doing it. Um, now with the hammer, there are a lot of ways to swing it um, that can hurt you, that can put stress on either side of the elbow, stress in the shoulder, um, anywhere in your body, right, that it's kind of tugging you around and it shouldn't be. So I suggest when you, after you're kind of comfortable with the, the penduluming, uh, well now I want to get into disc golf mode. So I want to swing, right, forward out to that target. So think of it as releasing the hammer out that way, releasing it, swinging forward over that front leg. And um, you can relate this to both directions. So I have a natural path where I'm letting the hammer kind of just roll through this way. For me, no strain when I do it this way. Let's continue that into the backswing. So And you want to get the sensation at some point back here that if you've kept this rear leg braced up and you're standing with your weight on it, there's a natural stopping point somewhere out here where you're gonna find the most leverage. If I hold the hammer here, uh, I'm somewhat closed off. I'll have some, some tension certainly to hold my arm and the hammer up, but it doesn't feel that way at any point in the swing, either direction, whether I'm just kind of letting it dangle completely or whether I'm swinging forward, back and forth. So let's talk a little more about swinging forward. So swing forward. What, what am I hitting? That's, I think, the, the big problem and the concept that took me until this morning to, to start grasping, really. Because you, have to, you do have to feel it, I think, and get your body to do it correctly. So notice when I swing this direction, there's a lot of ways I could do it. But as I swing the arm back and forth, I'm letting this arm naturally rotate out as though I were gonna hit a target out to my side. Now, this is the part I didn't understand until I actually made contact with the heavy bag. Um, I can imagine now, as I get into my rhythm, watch the late arm action. There's a little bit of that supinating effect. My elbow is orienting toward the end of the swing more down um, toward the floor so that's supinating in but my wrist is maintaining that that thumb that contact uh, on the rear of the hammer handle if i put a disc in my hand i'm just going to repeat similar motion so i'm not i can't see myself the camera's too far away what I'm doing is I'm finding that same natural feeling that I got from the hammer when I had the highest force hits over there on my back. And I think what we'll see on that watch is that I'm getting a similar um, natural endpoint um, as I swing out and I feel that last little contact at the release point. And that's allowing the wrist at that last extension to naturally unfold toward that release point. So this is, I think, one of the things that does probably vary across different throwers and your anatomy and other stuff. But it really does feel like when I have this hammer here, and I swing out, not to take that away, if I just curled my hand into the disc, 
We're, we're similar. I, I would say the word similar. Um, I'm getting this distinct sensation of similar mechanics coming through my wrist. I'm getting a similar sensation of there's some kind of force of the disc against my, my hand. There's some action between the two as it's about to um, leverage out. And there's uh, definitely a little bit of that thumb pressure sensation as I'm swinging through. And so that's the same idea as the thumb being one of the last um, leverage points through into the hand. And that's helping the hammer or then the disc interact with things like your index finger uh, to get that final pivot action out toward the target. And so that's, that's similar to this idea of, of the hammering out that the outside edge of the disc is the action of that hammer head swinging through. And so um, I call this floppy wrist syndrome. I've had a lot of trouble um, getting that late leverage on the hit. And your body will compensate for that, trying to find more power, right? And so um, now, you know, I, I've kind of backed up and really spent the time on the hammer because I want to make sure that every single swing is finding this natural, powerful hit. And of course, there will be, I'm certain, other adjustments in my posture and rhythm and other things I'll need to keep working on. Um, but taking this guy and spending some time to, to just feel out and find the spacing and the rhythm for that natural path is starting to make it um, much more consistent when I'm swinging. So hopefully some of the ideas in there helped you out.